Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to talk about the proper way to grip a revolver. Let's start with the mechanics of a semi-auto handgun. Here I have my strong hand with a nice firm high up grip on the gun and my support hand comes over like this using this part of the palm to support the side of the grip. And as I do that, both thumbs forward, I've got a nice firm fully supported grip which manages recoil quite well. Now if we take those same mechanics and apply them to a revolver, we could do that with the exception of one thing. We have to be very much aware that this area here is the cylinder gap. And when firing a revolver, gases are escaped through the cylinder gap and could create injury if you have your thumb in the way. So we're going to grip the revolver the same way with the exception of moving that thumb back. We're going to completely support the grip on all areas, but we're going to move that thumb back away from that cylinder gap to avoid injury. Another way to do it is to reverse the thumbs like that. So we're, we're continually supporting the gun, but yet staying clear of that cylinder gap. And I actually like this way better because from this position, I could cock that hammer back and shoot in single action while fully supporting the grip and staying clear of that cylinder gap to avoid injury. There have been people who have been injured in the past from keeping their thumbs too close to that cylinder gap when those gases come out can be very very powerful creating one heck of a burn and could get even worse than that depending on the round you are shooting. But, but that's the way to grip a revolver guys. Stay safe when doing it and always support the entire grip while keeping your thumb clear from that cylinder gap. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.